Russia's Rostov Corporation has recently revealed that India and Russia are in talks over the possibility to build a production line to make the S-400 air defense systems in India. According to a top military analyst, India will also go ahead with a follow-up purchase of S-400 systems, and India is not only interested to localize production of the S-400 system, but also wants to export the strategic system. India aims to integrate its BMD system and medium-range surface-to-air defense system with the S-400, which is possible due to its open architecture. According to latest reports, the Indian Air Force has successfully flight-tested the Astra air-to-air -air system from Su-30 fighter jet, during which an aerial target was engaged accurately, demonstrating the capability of the first indigenous air-to-air -air system. The Indian Air Force is also set to receive the first batch of the Astra air-to-air -air system by the end of this year. Apart from the previous four foreign submarine manufacturers, two more shipyards including Navantia of Spain and Daewoo of South Korea have also indicated interest in the P-75I project of the Indian Navy, and which of these six foreign manufacturers are actually in the competition will become clear on the 24th of September, as it is the last date for them to submit expression of interest. The Indian Army will soon equip its soldiers with exoskeleton technology, that will improve their situational awareness, and will also provide better protection speed and strength. Russia and the United States have already invested to research undeveloped battery-powered exoskeletons, which are capable of strengthening the soldier. In a bid to bolster military infrastructure along the China border, the Indian Air Force is set to operationalize another advanced landing ground, which has been non-operational for fixed-wing operations since 2016, due to repair and upgrade of facilities. As many as seven Chinese Navy ships have been tracked in the Indian Ocean region by the P-8I maritime aircraft of the Indian Navy. The Chinese Navy has deployed seven ships in the name of carrying out anti-piracy drills, but experts have said that the strength of the deployment seems to be more than what is needed. According to latest reports, the first trilateral exercise involving the navies of India, Singapore and Thailand has started at Port Blair. The five-day exercise would contribute significantly to enhance the overall maritime security in the region, and would also strengthen the interoperability among the three navies.